Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all having a great day. Um, I have some mail to share with everyone and then I just have a really small crafty bit as well. So firstly, I will start with this package that I received today. Gotta love the stamps, so they'll be keepers. Um, this is from Natasha at Treasure Books. I will link her Etsy below. I ordered some ribbon flowers from her Etsy because they were a really decent price and beautiful colours. Um, also, I love the work she does. I'll also share her YouTube. Um, she does beautiful journals and ephemera and she does a lot of recycling as well, which I really like. So, so this is what I grabbed. I'll just grab the note out. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. A little extra. That's lovely. And a lovely card. Oh, no, these are all papers. Oh, these are beautiful papers. Thank you so much, Natasha. Look at those. I love that. I think I'll put that in my rose journal. And that side as well. They are great. Could always do with more bits of pretty papers, that's for sure. And yes, yeah, so this is what I got. A pack of these ribbon flowers. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous and I just haven't had time to make my own yet. So I thought I'd grab some just so I've got a stock um, while I get around to making some in the future. But look at the beautiful colours as well. And they just look lovely, so well made. They'll be awesome on the front of a journal or on a tag. So that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Natasha, again. They are beautiful. I love them. Okay, and then the second package I received today is this one. Look how nicely that's been decorated. I'd love to decorate them myself as well, but I just haven't got time at the moment. But the main reason is, is that there's been a few packages I've sent now that people haven't received. Um, in one instance, there's been two packages that I've sent and that that lady sent to me and neither time have we received them. So I don't know what's going on there. So at the moment, I'm not decorating, um, yeah, just to stop people knowing that there's something sort of special in there. But this is absolutely lovely. Um, and yeah, again, the stamps are great. So I'll have to get those off. Now, this, I think, it, this is from Brooke, and I'm pretty sure it's for a swap that we're doing, I reckon. Now, firstly, she's been naughty and added some stuff as well. This looks awesome. Wow, it looks like a little tag pocket. Just open it up. Oh, a little paper clip. I love the colour of that paper clip too. It's bronze. Looks quite aged. It looks like some die cuts and stuff in here. I can get them out. There we go. Look at that. That's gorgeous. It looks like manila folder made into a pocket. And whether they're stamps, Brooke, you'll have to tell me if they're stamps. They're beautiful. Love that. A lovely tag. Love greens and I love birds. Lots of little circles, which always come in handy. Clusters and just embellishing anything. Oh, look at that. That's really sweet. Some little label bits. That'll be great for an altered card or something. A butterfly, another bird. Oh, I love all the birds. A bee, that looks like a stamp on manila folder again. I love the way stamps and um, ink come out on the manila folder. Look at that one, that's gorgeous. A teacup. Oh, and a teapot, that'll be great. Put that in a coffee journal, that one. Put them out of the way. Now, there's another little package here. A 
These look like lots of little tags and stuff. That's lovely. Bit by bit, you sort of collect all this different themed stuff. Um, you know, so I'm getting some sort of Parisian sort of French stuff. So that'll go great with that. Beautiful. Smile like you mean it. Oh, look, cute little envelope. I wonder if that's a die cut as well. I just got a die that makes these little envelopes. So I reckon they'll be about this size. They'll be handy and they're so cute. Another one. Look at that. I love that. Beautiful paper. That's <laughs> so cute too. Well, that's awesome. Thanks, Brooke. They're great little bits and pieces. Okay, now, this, I think, is a signature. Now, this time we had to do a swap for butterfly signatures. Um, this is absolutely beautiful paper. Look at that. It's got a beautiful fairy with a little butterfly. Lovely stamps. Must get some more stamps with butterflies and stuff on. This is gorgeous. Look at the paper. So a little pocket there. Oh, that's awesome. wonder where you get all your beautiful papers from. I never find ones like this in the local spotlight here. I have to keep my eye out online. Oh, that's a lovely piece too. A memory. You can write down your thoughts and put the date. And a good stamp. That's a beautiful stamp. This looks like, it's almost like vellum. Like tissue paper or something. It's got some lovely pictures on it. Nice little flip. Another little pocket. Beautiful stamp. Oh, look at these. Oh, thank you, Brooke. They're huge stamps. Gorgeous. They might end up in my stamp collection. If I find any I haven't got, they have to go into my stamp collection first. And then any extras um, go for my um, junk journaling. These are just the best papers. Look at that paper on the background too. The colours are beautiful. Blues and yellows and greens. Then another big pocket here. Oh, look at that. Huge tag. That's really cool. Made out of your maps. That's what I must start doing. Some maps and um, envelopes and tags out of maps. I've got so many atlases. That I need to use up. Put that back in there. It's got some beautiful stamping on it as well. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much, Brooke. I love every bit of that. This is so much fun getting all these signatures from everyone else, and I can't wait until at the end we can put them all together. Um, they'll be great memories. Um, because, yeah, we write who makes them on each one so that we can always remember who did um, send it to us. So that is beautiful. Thank you. Now, something I did the other day is I purchased these pump paints. Um, these were just from Kmart, really cheap. I uh, wasn't sure what they were going to be like. I didn't really have high hopes. Um, they were quite split because I didn't use them for ages, so I had to give them a good shake. But I decided to put the doily on some paper and give it a bit of a spray. And I absolutely love the way this has turned out. I used all three on this. I thought, why not? So it's got like the copper, the gold and the um, silver. And it's just turned out beautiful. And then, of course, if you do it on the paper, you get this as well. And I'm just loving that. So... I thought while I'm on camera, I will experiment with um, one or two more bits uh, just to add to my collection of papers. So I'll just move this out of the way. Now I've set up a whole lot of newspaper here now. Now the first one I want to try is I've just broken a doily up 
and just put it on the paper like this. So I might give this a spray. Um, as I said, it's an experiment, so I have no idea how it's gonna turn out and just see what happens. Why not? So I think I'll do the same and just use all three because the effect is awesome. Just give them a little bit of a shake. Gave them a bit more of a shake before, so. I'll grab the copper first. Just make sure it's primed. Yep, that's ready to go. All right, try not to get the leg of my tripod. But yeah, you can move it away a bit more or closer a bit more. Um, dependent upon, you know, how thick you want it and what sort of drops you want. I think that's quite good. Uh, now, silver or gold. I might do the gold next. It smells a bit, but I'll open the windows after. Now, the gold you sort of have to get a bit closer with. Yeah, I'll we'll give the silver a go. Again, get a bit closer so that you can see. We need a bit more colour over this side in that corner. Now, might just leave that for a moment. And I'll just check whether this other piece is going to be in camera a little bit. I can move this one over a bit like that. That's a bit better. All right, I've got the two little doilies on this one so that when I fold this piece of paper up in a signature, it'll have the doily print on either side. So this time I might actually start with some gold. It's so much fun this, it's so easy. <laughs> but yeah, the effects are great. Doesn't matter what sort of a mess you make either. Might do a bit of copper in the blanker bits. Kind of liking that. And then some silver to top it off. Again, get a bit close with the silver or else you don't really see it. Get around that edge where it's curling a bit. Alright. See how this turns out. Now, of course, the colour probably comes out a lot more shiny like on this one once it's dried. So you can't really see the full effect at the moment because it's wet. But what I can do is just take these off carefully. Look at that. So there's the doily. As I said, it will come out a lot more shiny once it's dry. But look at that. Awesome pattern. So that'll be great. I'm loving these paints. Now I might take a few of these off. Just have to do this very carefully. Now with these ripped up pieces that I've done, I thought these will be great for clusters and collaging. So I thought it's a bit different than just having the whole doily on there. Look, that's turning out quite nicely. Something a bit different. Just goes to show you know don't walk past some of the cheaper paints and that that you can find because you can still get a great effect so i think you know i'm probably going to have a check and see if they've still got these paints and grab some more because i can see myself using these a lot i love the effect of them so there we go so there's a couple more different pages that i can use in my journals and yeah, it's a great way of getting things done quickly and to have the coloured doilies as well, well gives you extra to play around with. So now I've got a couple of pages plus whole heap for my collages and clusters. So yes, I hope everyone's having a great day. The sun's out today, so I must get out and get the washing off the line and hopefully I'll see you again soon. See you later.